Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I learned to let myself feel, I guess, and to not be afraid of those feelings. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Found some friends you could trust. But Alex, you're right back where you started. I know. Oh, you don't know anything, Alex. You don't even know you're not really here. What the fuck? I guess that's me. Case number 53322. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Not getting out that way. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Thrown down a... What? These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg.
Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick. So is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex, go check on your mother. 
Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. <sighs> Wait. Did I miss something? There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe? Alex? I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today. I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... different. For a little while. But I am going to be okay. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Thank you.
You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. We would do that, Alex. <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part.
drown them out and wait for it to pass. Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? It was my job to keep the peace, but no matter what I did, where are you going? Are you gonna tell her, or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again, so we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now... I don't want to hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Dad!
Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit. I don't need it in the fucking rec room. I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms. Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something... Off. Broken. Wrong. With her. <laughs> Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. 
Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. 